Well, hello people. We've had a number of you ask questions about relaunching church and so this video hopes to answer some of those questions. God willing, we will be relaunching church in the morning on Sunday the 9th of August, 9.30 a.m. So to begin with, just the one service, 9.30 a.m., which is in addition to the live stream that will continue including Auslan. And we're also really excited that from that date, from the 9th, that we'll be relaunching our EV Kids program. Can't wait to get our kids back together around the world. So there'll be classes from Crash through to Year 6. And again, in addition to those awesome videos that the team have been making and putting online each week. So, God willing, Sunday the 9th of August, 9.30, church is back on. Now, given the restrictions, there will be limits to the number of people we can have on site. And so, at least to begin with, we'll have a pre-rego system to help us manage those numbers, particularly across those various kids' classrooms, as well as adults here in the round. So, stay tuned for how that will work, and we'll try and make it as painless as possible. In terms of safety and precautions, we're working hard to make it a safe place for us to gather. Uh, there'll be extra cleaning, physical distancing, and so on. And in terms of the COVID clinic that's been operating out of our site and been a great blessing to the coast, as we kick off from the 9th of August, it will not be running on a Sunday. And the parts of the facility that they do use through the week are sectioned off. So there'll be absolutely no crossover between church and the clinic. But what I really want to tell you more about, and again, extend an invitation to you for, is the info sessions that we're running on the 25th and 26th of July. Now, it's possible to think that to relaunch church, you just flick a switch and it all starts running again. But it's just not going to work. At least... It's not going to work well if that's all we did. And so the goal of these sessions is to get as many of us as possible together, not to consider just some tasks that need doing, something much bigger than that, to actually consider the scriptures and be stirred afresh as to how wonderful and beautiful and powerful church is in the purposes of God. Just how key it is that God's people are gathered particularly in our mission to reach the coast, to see people one out of hell into heaven through the gospel. And so th this is an opportunity for all of us to come together. See, church isn't just run by staff. Church is your church, our work together. And so um, we want to get together and consider the challenges ahead, but the opportunities and the ways that we together might relaunch church on a footing that will see as many people come in over the coming weeks, months and into next year under God as possible. Now, we've had some people say to us, oh, I'm really keen for that, but I don't want to come to that if that means I'll be taking someone else's spot when church relaunches. <laughs> what a beautiful heart. And it's exactly that heart we want to come to these info sessions. So just by coming along doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be taking someone else's spot as church relaunches. In fact, it'll be through these sessions that we'll consider how we can actually make space for people to come in, which might mean some people do come some weeks and not the others. Uh, we'll consider some things we might do off-site and around the stream to see people connected in. So if health isn't an issue for you, please get along to one of those sessions. Uh, we've got three of them, they'll all be the same so that uh, parents might be able to tag team. On the Saturday, it's 9.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. and on the Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Sessions will go for about an hour, no need to pre-rego. Get along, trust it'll be encouraging and we'll also be spending some time in prayer, um, entrusting these things to God. And can I finish by urging you to continue to pray? We've seen this week, haven't we, just how quickly things can change. And yet we have a God who doesn't change and whose purpose is to bring great hope to his world through his people amongst his church has not changed. And so be praying that as we relaunch church, God might do something wonderful, that he might bring great blessing to us, yes, but to the coast and beyond because of it.